day people, once again welcome to the show and I am Akinola Florence and here with me is I'm Akinjide Ayo Adisa Yes, I have a guest here with me today, we'll be running the show together and today's topic is the role of religious leaders in nation building and a case study will be the answers protest We have here with us in the studio, Minister of God, Mr. Adediji Damelari who is going to be shedding light to us on the topic there, so he can tell us more <laughs> on the topic. Sir, welcome to the show once again. Yeah, a few weeks back has been hectic in Nigeria and uh, the whole world has been watching us keenly. Everything happening in this country. Now, religious leader, you are a minister of God and our religious leaders have just been mute somehow on this issue, the answers protest. It is something that we all need to come out and voice out. Mothers have lost their kids, fathers have lost their kids, wives have lost their husbands to the hands of our, mil our military and our police officers. It shouldn't be so in a country whereby we run democratic governments. That is why we are here and that is what we are going to discuss about. So sir, are you ready for us? Thank you. I'm here for you guys. So looking at um, what has happened during the protest, a lot of lives were, were, were lost and looking at everything as religious leader influenced the cry of the Jews for better Nigeria, positive or negative influence, as, have they been able to influence them? How have they been able to influence them, positive or negative? Okay, Florence, I would like to start by appreciating script thank you for this opportunity to be at your studio again and then going to the topic the answers for the will of the religious leader and then what has been the what major role that the, the religious leader has been able to play in this the last quarter that just after probably the ongoing protest and let, let me start by saying that in a society we have different major agents there and one of the agents we have the government we have the citizen and we have the the religion, the religious leader, because religion is part of the major area of our life as a society. Now, I will be picking, talking based on the particular text, everything I'm going to be saying here today. I'm looking at Second, Second Kings chapter six, chapter six, and chapter seven. Now, there was a case of a society, the Samaria city, that were besieged by a family, and then we are the king. Who happened to be the leader, the political leader, representing political leader? We have the citizen, a woman crying to the king, and we also have Prophet Elisha there. Now, the, there was a point that there was a crisis in the line. A woman ran to the woman protesting that king, what has this is what has been happening? We need your help. I have a discussion with my neighbor that there's famine in the land, there's hunger, we don't have what to eat. Today, let us kill my own child, let us eat, and tomorrow we kill your own child. But before they, they kill the woman, Child. They both ate it. The next day, the second woman ran away with her, with her child. It was so pathetic. So the woman has to run to the king for help. And when he got to the king, the king heard the story and the king cried with a loud voice. Immediately, the king took a step. What was the step? He sent for the religious leader of the land, who was Elijah, the prophet of the land. And Elijah came and responded. Now, let me stop at that point. Then I'll get about it. This is what I'm saying. Now, presently, we have religious leader in our country and actually the religious leaders are not silent and the aspect the religious they, they may not actually have spoken so loud but they're actually working if you could record i don't know if you guys take note of prayer work that happened all over the nation from different states it even happened in our own very local city here in the level there was prayer work everywhere i know of some major religious leaders in this country that actually led. i know of pastor paul in that led in abuja i know of um, the winner's chapel, Bishop Oedeko I know of Pastor Adeko, I actually, I read it online and I actually saw the video so pray. The role of the leader is to pray for the nation. I know the counsel of God as touching what is happening presently. And that was what, Elisha was in the land when the family was going on. But Elisha never did anything until he was praying, until he was sent for to know what is God saying at this particular time. What has the government done? Has the government actually tried to seek the involvement of the leader? What is the, what is God saying, the God factor in all of this? 
the youth have protested, like the woman also protested. But at that point, the king, also, of course, the king was a place. The, as a matter of fact, the, our government presently, they are also a place. You need to go to the street and know what is happening in the street. You need to know. There, there, was, no, there was no forum that called, it was not NFC that called for this protest. It was not any of this union that called for it. Everybody was ready to go out and say, enough is enough of what is going on. Let me stop at that for now. So do you think religious leaders, they have actually influenced influence the cry of the Jews on this issue. Okay, now if you are looking at the influence the religious leader play, or probably religious leader actually have have actually been part of people that instigated the protest. Is that what we are looking at? If you are looking at instigating, being a backup or being a support of that protest, I may not uh, I may not say uh, yes totally. But who are the youth that are protesting? They are our church members. They are our followers. True. They belong to a con particular congregation, yeah. whether Islamic congregation or this thing. And every Sunday they go back to the church and try to know what their pastor is saying. As a matter of fact, look at what happened at Lekki. On Friday, you see the Muslims gathering together to have their prayer day, Jumat. Yeah. And on Sunday, they also give room for the, for the Christian to also have their fellowship at the same place. But the fact is, it's not a function of religious that All of us, both the youth, they are both Christian and they are both Muslim. All of us are involved in this. It is a cry. For all of us, both leaders and the followers, we are partaker of the suffering that is happening in the land. And the best religious leader could do, probably as a leader in the, in, in the land, we have to pray. And we have been praying. You said they pray. Some of the pastors, you mentioned their names that actually organized the prayer work. Okay. So, do you think that's enough? Enough to support the youth on the issue? This issue? Very it's good not question. just prayer work alone. I think, I'm not sure that one alone can actually do it. Some years back, I understand, yeah, I, I heard the message from a very a particular message, and he was talking about the role, the, your position as a religious leader. What have you been called to do? You have not been called into politics. You have not been called into government. You have been called to wait on the Lord. And if you are not asked to speak, I'll give you a case study of John the Baptist. John the Baptist was as a calling to be a forerunner of Jesus Christ. He was not calling to go into politics. But at the time that the government of that land, doing John the Baptist, Miss B.A. went to go and marry somebody that he was not supposed to marry. John the Baptist cried out. And what was what the, the government of that land did? Pick John the Baptist, Herod, and cut the head of, the, of John the Baptist and use him as pepper soup for that thing. What are the religious leaders that are called to do presently? If the government come to you, that come, what is the government saying? What, the, what is the, is we have tried our best as the political leader of the land. We've created policy, but I think this policy is not working perfectly. Can we know what the God is saying? At that point, just like the king of Samaria also did, he has to send for Elijah. Elijah was in the land before that. It was when he was sent for that come. What is it happening? And Elijah came and said that by this time tomorrow, there will be a turning around in the land. And there was a turning around. Elijah never speak until he was invited to speak. to speak. Thank you very much for that. But from what you just said, uh some men of god okay. you said they are not meant to go into politics okay some men of god are actually into politics presently okay how would you or what will you say about that now now let me say this when we talk about calling okay for example i'll use myself as a case study i have a ministry i have a calling i, I, I am more of an evangelist okay. at the same time business person yes now that's i am a pastor my my destiny may never be solely as a put on the people to look i may have other area that god also wants me to function it okay. is individual okay there was a time that in the land of israel we have prophets ruling we have the case of samuel Yes. We had the case of Eli. It was at the point of Samuel that the people said, No, 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 we don't want, we don't want prophet again. We want our own king. Yeah. And God get them, <laughs> get them saw. Yeah. So if God is putting in the heart of a man of God, a child of God, they can go, go. Of course, you are a minister. I'm also asking you to go. He's the one that had the understanding and had the calling. He's good to go. He may be able to actually balance the two, the two. together. But the truth of the matter is this government running is government running. What happened whether you are you you are you are a minister of God, you are not a minister, you are going to face the same thing in business, the same factors you are going to face, the same principle apply whether you are a pastor or you are not a pastor. 
So you are the one that knows how to actually work out. So you as a minister of God going into politics never stop you. But you must understand your calling. If you have been called majorly to stay at the people, you are expected to remain stay at there. the people. Okay. But if you are called in the people, God says that I have a bigger assignment for you in the political arena. You are an instrument I want to use to change, change this things. nature. Yes, that, that is you. Yeah. You are the one that has it. That has that calling. So there is no problem with you, but you must get it clearly. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Much, sir. But sir, as a minister of God, do you think the protests and the issues arising in this country can actually lead to a new Nigeria? Your own opinion on this. Do you think it can actually lead to a new Nigeria? Well, that's, a, that's a very good question. It can it lead to a new Nigeria? Yes, because don't forget that you said nobody asked, nobody asked anybody to come out to protest. Okay. The people were tired. Yeah. Okay. Not NLC. Not uh, anybody, not NGO, but the people who are tired. So, as a minister of God, do you think this protest and the issue arising can actually bring out a new us, a new Nigeria, a new economy, a new nation as a whole? No, 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 no. Thank you, Uncle Jide. But the fact, let, let me start by saying that the Nigeria we have now, what is the Nigeria that we have now that we are seeking for a new Nigeria? Okay. Why are we seeking for a new Nigeria? What Nigeria do we have now? Now the fact is that remember 1999 when we are having transition from military to, to democratic, democratic government. government. There was this shout that ah this is going to get better, people that have found overseas, yeah. they will start coming back and yeah. looking at this. And then I can remember the president that actually won the election, it was Kulishi yeah. and And there was this there was this nomenclature that oh, 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 this and that. that. We have high expectation. But even though it's are getting better, it was getting the other way around. Yeah. Getting the other way around. I can remember when this administration actually get there. When we are moving from Jonathan to Kwai, we actually wanted a change. That's how we tell I think we are tired of good old Jonathan. We wanted Kwai. Now, I can remember the economy then. The, rise, the bag of rice then was maybe 7,000 naira or 8,000 naira. Well, presently, it's, it's just 35,000. 35,000 naira, presently. Yeah. Now, I can remember then, before this, before, when I was in Lagos, before this adventure came up, I think all I need. For the for my family as a family, myself, my wife and my kid, for the whole month to spend provision, food stuff, everything is just eight thousand naira in a month. Hmm. But now, presently, hundred thousand naira is not enough for the month. Hundred thousand naira. So how much am I earning? Now the fact is, that how long are we con going to continue living this way? Hmm. How long are we going to? So the fact is, this, even as a church, we are finding it difficult to survive hmm. because as a, child. as a church. What are the members? What are, most of your members are living from ma hand to mouth. True. They are struggling to survive. Yeah. Now the fact is, this, even people that are earning money, how many people are earning legitimate money now in this present economy? Mm -hmm. So this is why everybody is here. We know the thing. Now the, going back to your question, this protest can it bring a better, new, a new Nigeria? Nigeria. That's a better economy. No, the time. The, the truth of the matter is this. It come to a point like the, the, going back to the second king chapter six that, we, that I, 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 I use as, as the background. That the woman has to come and look. The king knew that there was problem in the land, and he couldn't help. But he was silent as a leader, trying to manage the situation. And he has some cabinet member that like, we can fix it. Mm -hmm. We can do this, mm -hmm. um, doing some policies and doing so many things around. But it comes to the time that when he heard the one that just happened, that they are eating themselves. They're like, oh, this has got to I need help. And he cried to God, not even to prophet Elijah. But you know that I will not be able to hear from God. But we are custodians of, of the land. We are custodians. We are our accusers of God that can tell us the mind of God for the nation presently. Mm -hmm. And all of us gather together God. Let us consult. Let's consult this God. I know what is the state of thing now. And by the time they consulted the God, the God, the question is this: what is the government saying now? What is government interest? Are they still trying to find a permutation on it? Or all of us, let us come together. Let's sit on the right table and go. Okay, now as a government, we have not been able to get this right. As as you know, now what as protest we are as, as youth, we are not be getting now. Just, can you help us to know what God is saying? So we can know the way forward. And with that, we can bet a new Nigeria. Knowing what God our is saying, saying. That means the government should seek the uh, the counsel of our religious leaders to know what God is saying and will bring about a new Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, thank you very much. For those of you just joining us, we are at Scripting Studio and over three Tai Kuyoro Street, Odunade Bus Stop, Ababa Showroom, and Lebo of Alawakala Expressway, Ibadan, Nigeria. We've been with a man of God here and we'll be talking and discussing about the role of religious leader in building our nation, Nigeria. A case study of the NSAS.
protest. That's what we are looking at. And it has been fun so far. It has pinpointed some areas whereby pastors may have the mandate to go into politics. It depends on their calling. Thank you, sir, once again. Yes, you've explained to us some of the role of our religious leaders. Now, to you, sir, what are your expectations from our religious leaders concerning this protest and how we can achieve and get a better Nigeria? What are your expectations from yeah. them? Thank you very much, Florence. Now, as, as a religious leader, number one, we are, what we do is based on the scripture. Now, as a religious leader, let's go back to that case story. What was the role of Elisha? In that place when Elisha was called upon, Bible said, Maybe Elisha got there, he never argued, he only spoke the counsel of God to the land. What people are waiting for is to hear what God has in store for us. What is God saying at this time? Saying the word of peace, saying the word of progress, speaking life into this nature, into this nation that as God live it, tomorrow will be all right, things will turn around. It's, it's not a time for us to also instigate riots. It's a time for us to speak the counsel of God into the nation presently. That's good. That's a good one. Now, sir, do you think we should have a, a religious leader in the political office? What, what can you say about that? Do you think we should have them? Now, I, 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 like I rightly said before, we have colleagues and must understand our colleagues. Anyway. Now, if God is calling me into a, being, into a mission work, I understand. At the point, God can say, okay, my son, leave the mission work now and go and do this. Now, I'll give you an example. When David was in his father's house, his assignment was to hear the flocks. When he came to a point that God told Samuel to go and anoint David, he's the one that selects. So if God is one that is calling any of the religious leaders to go into politics, but we must get direction. If God has not called you to it, and you are going based on your feelings or your emotion, you will come back ridiculed. More than the people who are not even religious leaders. Mm -hmm. That are there. Because the truth of the matter is this. People that are not religious, they understand that no, I'm not a pastor, I can do anything I like. If, you don't, if I try my best, it's not working, people will understand. But you are the religious leader, that's what God said. We see things of people who just died because I said, God told me I'm going to be the next president. <laughs> and up to now, we are still waiting. We are still waiting. God is not a liar. The Bible says God is not a man that should lie. Not someone that should pray. As he said it, and he will not do it. God is not a liar. If God is saying it, God meant it. He's not a joker. So if God is speaking light to you, there is a timing. And he will gather people around you. The truth of the matter is, Jonathan never knew he was going to be the president of this country. He never knew. But when the time came, there was a calculation of the formula. Mm. Everything changed. The zone won't have gotten to South South at all. Yeah. But there was a changing in this ritual mm. and God pushed him there. The truth of the matter is, is there are people that were expecting that are going to be the next president of this country. The calculation may change. <laughs> and God will pick somebody from nowhere. It can be a religious leader. But God is not a man. He will over, he will always be God. Thank you very much, sir. It's been an interesting time with you in the studio here. And we would love to have you more on topics like this it shows that we need men of god more in our political arena to if they can't occupy a post they should be able to advise wouldn't you say that they should be able to advise the government well so having said all this it's been fun having you at the studio here and on the show today thank you for coming our pastor and we hope to see more of you Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen at home watching us or wherever you're watching us from, is your show, our show, the show for you. The show that talks about nation building and everything about our nation as a whole. Till we come your way next time. All right. And she is. Akinola Florence. Yeah. And I am Akinjide Ayo Adisa. We'll always be here for you. Catch you at the same time. Bye.